Hi, I'm Ryan Poliniak, Customer Account Manager at Western Computer. Today, Teresa Peitzmeyer, our NAV Functional Project Manager, will show how to set up and use positive pay in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. We're going to talk about positive pay. Positive pay is configured in the data exchange definition area. We're going to start there. The system comes out of the box with data exchange definition prefab for Bank of America and Citibank. So the positive pay specifications from those two financial institutions have already been vetted through Microsoft and they've been able to put those straight into the system. So if you bank with either of those two banks, you will not have to set up your own positive pay template. You'll already have one that you can use. So when we look at this, it's an export. We're also directing to various different objects within the system to handle that export. So there's a little more setup happening in the general tab on an export. If we look at the line definition, we've got header, footer, and detail in this case because that's what B of A requires. If we look at the field mapping for the detail, which is going to be the per transaction detail lines for each check that you are coming, this is going to tell you what columns are contained in there, and it's also going to show you the mapping in terms of what field in the system is being used to extract the data then appears on the export file under these individual column captions. We can build one of these for your bank once we have their format and their file layout instructions. And what's even easier is if your bank provides a data exchange file, that can be uploaded. So we have an import that we can use for a specifically structured data exchange file and we can just import that, which will save time on the setup. The second piece of this is the bank export-import setup, where we're creating that relationship. So we have a positive pay test, and in our case, this is being directed to the data exchange definition that we just looked at for the Bank of America positive pay. So it's making that relationship. It's this code, the positive pay test code, that's going to appear on the individual bank account. So when we look at the B of A bank account, we're looking in the same tab, it's the transfer tab, but it's a different field. So we look down here and we see which positive pay export code needs to be utilized to create the properly formatted positive pay file. So you're flexible because you can have multiple positive pay formats across multiple different bank account cards that match up to different financial institutions. So if you need to issue positive pay in different ways from different accounts, you can do that very easily once the initial setup is achieved. So the way this works is very straightforward. Once we have some checks that we're issuing, we have some ready to go in here. They're a little late, but we're going to go ahead and issue those payments. That's why they're red, because they're a little bit overdue. So once those checks are issued, and we post that payment journal, We can now go to our bank account and say we want to do our positive pay export, and there are the checks that we just issued. When we say yes, go ahead and export it, it's going to create the file, and now those entries are gone. Now you are ready to upload that positive pay file to your bank's portal or email it to their secure site or however you get that information to them. And you always have a record of exactly what you've done from the bank account card. You go to the Navigate tab and you can look at your positive pay entries. One nice feature of this as well is there's a confirmation number that is editable. So if you receive back from your bank's system 
a confirmation number, we always recommend as a best practice that you come here and fill it in as a reference point in case there are any questions or problems down the road. That's typically what the bank will use when they are talking to you about that file is their confirmation number. So if you don't have that in here, it makes it a little bit of detective work to make sure that you're talking about the same set of information. And that's it for cost of pay. That concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all latest video releases. Thanks for watching.